So, problems 3, 4, and 5. So, problem number 3. Brian enters a cooler at the rate of uh, 5,000 gallons per hour at 75 degrees Fahrenheit and leaves at 71 degrees Fahrenheit. Specific heat and specific gravity of Brian are 1.27 kilojoule per kilogram degree Kelvin and 1.2 yung kanyang specific gravity. So, the same with number 1. Calculate the heat transferred in HP. So, sa akin, kapag ganito yung mga units niya, lahat naka, ano, English, ang titignan ko parate yung dulong unit. Okay? Majority, nakikita niyo dyan, they are, what? They are all in uh, English units. So, yung SI units, we'll take care about that later. Okay? So, ganito. Diba, given na yan, meron tayong volume flow rate na 5,000 gallons per hour. Meron tayong TI na 21 degree Celsius or degree Fahrenheit. TF tayo ng 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Meron tayong uh, CP 1.27 kilojoule per kilogram degree Kelvin. Meron tayong SG na 1.2. So, wala na tayo ibang hahanapin, okay? Punta na agad natin yung Q equal to MCP delta T, kaya lang gagamitin natin yung SG. O, di SG ng fluid multiplied to density of H2O multiplied to volume flow rate ng fluid CP ng fluid delta T. Okay na to. Okay na yan. Wala ka na bang hanapin dyan. So, for he con convective heat transfer, SG is 1.2. Multiply mo na lang nung 1.27. So, HP to. Uh, isang paraan para solve natin. Para hindi na tayo magko-convert dito. Ang dami natin ko-convert eh. So, 1.27 kilojoule per kilogram as is na yan. Degree Kelvin. Tapos, yung density ng tubig, binigay ba dyan? Density ng tubig is 1 kilogram per liter. Gamitin natin yun. Tapos, yung volume flow rate naka gallons per hour. So, 5,000 gallons per hour. Multiply na lang natin para maging minute. 1 hour. 60 minutes. May conversion naman tayo dyan ng gallons. So, you have uh, 3.785 liters to the gallon. Tapos, dapat to naka seconds. Okay? Time. Seconds. O di 60 seconds in every minute. Kasha. Okay? Tapos, ano pa yan? Yung CP. Ito na pala. Delta T. Ngayon, kapag delta T, tandaan nyo, delta T, pinag-uusapan. Kapag Celsius degree to Fahrenheit degrees, lalaki yung value, di ba? Gagawin mo na lang, para maging Fahrenheit, i-multiply mo to ng 1.8. Okay? 1.8 nung Celsius degree para maging degrees Fahrenheit. Or Fahrenheit degrees pala. Or, 1.8 nung Kelvin para maging degree Rankine. Now, another one. Okay? Para maging ano? Degree Fahrenheit to Celsius or to Kelvin. Change in temperature to ha. Pinag-uusapan natin. Hindi yung temperature lang. Okay? Changes in temperature. So, ang gagawin mo dyan, i-divide mo yung Fahrenheit ng 1.8 para maging Celsius degree. Or, Yung degree run ka, divide mo ng 1.8 para maging degree Kelvin. Okay. So, ganito. Meron ka ditong Fahrenheit yung parehas eh. 75 tsaka 21. As is, 75 minus 21. Divide mo na lang ng Fahrenheit to Celsius degree o di 1.8 para maging degree Kelvin. So, we cancel all the same units na present. So, kilogram, kilogram, 
liter, uh, liter, galon, galon, hour, hour, minute, minute, Kelvin, and then Kelvin. Ano bang hinahanap sa atin dito? Naka-HP. Okay? Ang lalabas dyan is kilojoule per second or kilowatt. O, multiply natin. Ilang kilowatts ba meron sa isang HP? Diba? 0.746 kilowatts. Mapatayin ka lang dito talaga sa conversion of units. Pero, pwede mo na siyang masolve. Okay. Solve natin yung value. Simula tayo dito. 1.2 times 1.27 times 5,000, divide mo na lang 3,6, kasi 60 times 60 is 3,600. Times uh, 3.785. Okay. Tapos, times 75 uh, minus 21, divide by 1.8, times 0.746. The answer in HP is, 322. Okay, that is correct. Problem number 3, the answer for convective heat transfer is 322.18 HP. Very basic. Okay. How about problem number 4? Calculate the amount of energy required in kilocalorie, okay? Anong conversion yan? 1 kilocalorie is equal to 4.187 kilojoules. Ayan ang conversion niya. Direkta. To heat the air in a house that has a size of 15, 25 by 20 meters, from 20 degrees Fahrenheit to 90 degrees Fahrenheit, the density of air is about 1.2 kilogram per cubic meter, and its specific heat at constant pressure is 0.24 BTU per pound degree Fahrenheit. So, Q is equal to, wala ka na namang mass, o di density, times volume, kapag era, multiplied to Cp delta T sa air. Okay? So, Q is equal to density ng air, 1.2 kilogram per cubic meter. Volume of air. Anong volume dyan? O di yung volume nung room. O di 15 by 25 by 20 meter cube. CP. 1.2. Ano nga ito? Anong CP niya? 0.24 pala. Uh, that is constant naman, di ba? O di pwede naman to Equal to sa ano? 1.0062. Kilojoule per kilogram degree Kelvin. Sapat na yun. 1.0062 kilojoule per kilogram degree Kelvin. Parang hindi ka na mag-convert pa. Cp, delta T. O, naka-Celsius Fahrenheit. Gagawin mong Celsius degree. O, 90 minus 20. Divide by 1.8. Magiging degree Kelvin na yan. So, we solve for the values. Cancel all the same units. Meter cube, meter cube, kilogram, kilogram. Problema mo dito, ano yung given time dyan? Ah, hindi. Kilocalorie lang pala inahanap. So, ang lalabas is kilojoule. Okay na yan. Kilojoule. Ang conversion na lang ng kilojoule is, inilagay ko na dito, 4.187 kilojoule per kilocalorie. Yan. So, 1 kcal. Four point one eight seven kilojoule. So cancel natin yung same units. Yen, ah kilojoule, kikal na lang yun natira. Hey, so that is one point two times fifteen times twenty times twenty five times one point zero zero six two times ninety minus twenty seventy divided by one point eight. Times 4.187. So, the answer will be 84,110. Very basic. 84,110. 
0.34 kilo calories. That is for problem number four. How about problem number five? At an average temperature of 100 degrees Celsius, hot air flows through a 2.5 millimeter, 2.5 meter long tube with an inside diameter of 50 millimeters. So, meron ka inside diameter. The temperature at the tube is 20, cel- 20 degrees Celsius along its entire length. Hindi nagbago. Convective film coefficient, so that is H. 20.1 watt per meter squared degree Kelvin. Determine the convective heat transfer from air to the tube. So, given, di ba, convective heat transfer of surface, so Q is equal to H A H A delta T. Balikan natin. Nasaan yan? Ayan, this one. Okay. So, given yung inyong D, which is 50 mm, The length is given 2.5 meters long. So, Q will be equal to H A. Anong problema mo sa A? Yung A mo kasi is equal to pi D L. Bakit, sir? Drawing pa ba natin yung tubo? Pwede. Drawing ko yung tubo, ha. Ito yung tubo mo. Yan yung tubo. So, meron kang length. Meron kang diameter dito sa loob. Okay. Length, diameter, Oh, kunin mo yung iganon mo, parang wall, di ba? So, anong, sir, anong size nito? Circumferential size niyan, di ba? Pi D. Oh, para maging area. Ano anong yun? The width times length or length times width. O, oh, di pi, time, pi D times L. O, oh, yun ang area. So, pi D, pi D L, A, A, A tuloy. Pi D L H delta T. Yan na yun sa piping. Okay. Paano naman kapag hollow pipe? O, oh, equal pa rin naman yan sa pi DO minus DI L delta T times H. Hollow to. Anong hollow? Yung may inner and outside diameter. So, solve na natin siya. So, Q is equal to pi times diameter. Gawin nating meters yung diameter. So, 50 over 1,000 para maging meters. Multiplied to 2.5 meters, yung H, that is 20.1 watt per meter squared degree Kelvin. The change in temperature, meron kang average temperature dyan na 100 degrees Celsius. Tapos, meron kang along the tube, that is 20. So, 100 Minus 20. Celsius degree o degree Kelvin. We cancel all the same units. Kelvin, Kelvin, meter squared. Ang natira is watts. So, the answer for the convective heat transfer is uh, 50 shift pi times 2.5 times 20.1 times 100 minus 20 is 80. Divided by 1,000. The answer is 631.46. But, ang inahanap dito is in HP. Nakawats yan, okay? You have, you always have 1 HP in every 746 watts or 0.746 kilowatts. So, we will divide this with 0.746. So, the answer will be, hmm, hindi pala, 746. Divided by 746. Ayan. The answer is 0. 0.8465. Approximately 0. 0.85 HP of convective heat transfer. So, class, marami pa tayong problem dyan. There are four more problems pagdating ng inyong uh, convection. So, I will continue this next meeting before your quiz.
And uh, you can find all the notes after this discussion and after kuma-upload yung videos. So you have to tune in sa ating one and only YouTube channel and uh, keep on supporting. So see you next meeting. Have a nice day. That will be all. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir.